Good evening, Keen. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you for joining us tonight. Hello, and thank you for joining us tonight. I think a private institution would do a much better job. I don't think that I need to ask permission to drive on the road. For me, my goal is to live a free life. Do you not Go inside. You'll be arrested. Thank you for watching Free Keen TV. I'm your anchor, Heike Corser. Starting out with local stories. The Keene City Council has voted to militarize the Keene Police Force with the acceptance of a federal grant for the purchase of a Lenco Bearcat Special Mission Public Safety Vehicle. It seems that the good old days of peace officers is long gone and Keene will become one more local municipality with an even greater amount of excessive force at their disposal. This comes at a time when police departments around the country are setting records for violence against individuals. Cities like Las Vegas has been rocked by recent police shootings that bring bad press for the force and also bring in the federal government for department investigations. Calling the Bearcat a public safety vehicle is an oxymoron. This assault vehicle comes with a machine gun mount on the top and can only really protect the state employees within its confines. If you feel the city council has made a poor decision, please send an email to tv at freekeen.com. Keen Parking Enforcement may be looking to install the new kiosk style meters in Keen due to the efforts of local activists styled after Robin Hood. Locals Jason Repture and Derek Freeman follow the parking meter ladies around the city and drop coins into the meters of those she would otherwise ticket. Here is a video explaining the activity. Yes, actually I racked up a bunch of parking tickets that led to my car being towed, blah, blah, blah. The only way to get my car back was basically um, to pay the $185 that they say I owe. Um, so basically they, hold my, they held my car hostage so I had to pay the fine. So I guess my only way of getting this back is to go robbing hitting and that's where um, you go around and um, you save other people from, from getting parking tickets. So I figure if I do 37 Robin Hoods, I'll be $185 and I'll neutralize my karma. But um, plus I intend to do a lot more than that. So. Um, and Derek's here with me, and we're gonna go out Robin Hood today. So, great. Yeah, and there's actually we have all kinds of fun material that we put in it. This is just kind of a test run. There's actually better stuff, but this is what we have written. Um, okay, and there are some cards in there also. Yeah, and we're loading this up with some. It's a good chance for outreach. Figured you save people uh, money on a ticket, and we have a don't take the plea deal stuff for your keen stuff and i pop lock stuff in some of them but i ran out so um okay and this is going to be great for my part i'd like to say today i had to go get some car registration it cost way more than i thought it was going to and so i have a goal of saving 23 cars from getting tickets so that I can account uh, for taking money from Keen uh, rather than giving money to Keen, so it'll sort of neutralize that effort. So hopefully it kind of takes off and hopefully we just start saving a lot of people money and doing outreach at the same time. So, Well that sounds great. If you hate parking tickets and you think it's a victimless crime that you want to crush the state doing some Robin Hooding, come join us in Keen. So this meter lady behind me, I don't know if you can see her, but she's the one we're going to be following today. She is the one who ticketed Rapture over by the library. Okay, we are on the hunt. Rapture is going after her. Seeking justice. Parking justice. helping an out-of-towner.
cool looking Audi. It's got zero minutes on the meter. I'll pay it off while the sheriff drives by. Hey, cool Audi. Consider not paying the city of Keene. Hey, don't pay the city of Keene five dollars. They don't own you. You don't owe them anything. Monadnock High School has been the source of some drama as local activists attempt to hand out literature and hold signs as the students leave school at the end of the day. This same activity has been done fairly regularly at the Keene High School with little to no issue. Cop Block released this video from this past week. Well, this is public property and you're a public official, so no, I, I respect you, but well, right now you work for us. Huh? Well, I can because no. it's not done in secret. Yeah, I, okay. yeah, I'm actually well, I think what we're asking you is... And I have a right oh, to protect the students here. Yeah. 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 So I'm going to ask you folks to leave that. Are you just going to talk to our boss? Are you I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Well, I, you have my permission to film me. I don't need your permission, sir. You're a public official on public property. I'm a private citizen that has the right not to be filmed. How are you paid? Where does your paycheck come from? From tax money? My intention to be here is to share ideas and to encourage people to think, and I hope that is why you're engaged in this profession. So I don't see why you're taking issue with us handing out flyers to people who voluntarily accept them. If you wanted to hand me a piece of paper and I wanted to accept it, what right does anybody else have to say that that can't happen? I'm going to choose not to get in this conversation with you and say again, Dr. Hodgson. Okay. What's going on? What are you trying to pass out? Well, does that matter? We're on public property. I mean, we're not... Why do you think you have authority to tell me what I can and can't do if I'm not hurting anybody? You, we have a policy that you get things approved by the SAU before then anything gets passed out. So if you want to go right over to that white building and get approved, then you're all set. I'm okay. I don't want, I don't want to see you pass anything out. Is this, uh, can I ask you, is this public property, sir? Hey, how's it going? Yes or no, is this public property? So why do you believe you have a right to tell me what I can and can't pass out to an individual who I voluntarily really, takes it? I don't really want to be filmed right now. Well, you're a public official, correct? What? Sir, are you a public official? Okay. Well, good yeah. afternoon. Hello. Hey, would you like some information? What's happening? Who do you represent? Oh, well, we're just uh, doing some outreach today. Uh, who do you represent? I'm not sure what you mean by that. What organization are you representing? Is this, this is coplock.org. Yeah. This is the name of your organization. Well, this is, this is the name of our website. Our okay. Do you have? Do you get approval from the superintendent's office to be here? Because that's what needs to happen according to school board policy. Well, is this public, public property? property so I don't well, need approval from well, we are required by law to regulate that property, and okay. we have a school board that sets policy regarding distribution of information. Is that right? Yes. Okay, well that would be your regulation. Joanne, right? do you want to send Aaron over to no, it's not my office and have her meet me there? So what's your name? Uh, we're gonna, we'll be right back. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. What's your name? Oh, really? I want, just want to share ideas and you know, I would hope that you and your colleagues, being in the profession of education, would support that. Well, in general, we do. But I have, I'm obligated to uphold the school board policy. The superintendent is right over there in the White House. If you'd like to go over there and right. get it approved, that's fine. Right. I cannot give you permission to pass these out. Okay, first I'd say I have not myself handed anything out, but also I would say you've well, admitted... Your, colleague, your colleagues, well, he, uh, Like I said, he's responsible for his own actions, sir. <laughs> Oh my God! Thank you. Is this information that you're free to accept? Make up your own mind. Live like an individual. I will. I'm sorry. Why are you trying to? Would you like something? 
I mean, I have not signed a contract with the school board to say I will ask permission to hand things out on this particular area of public property. I don't see why rules that you guys agree to you think apply to myself. I'm a sovereign individual. Right, and we can respect each other. And we can respect each other. Well, have a good day. Thank you. I mean, what happens, I hope people think for themselves. That's what I hope happens. I hope you think critically about these double standards you think should uh, justify the use of force or threats of force against myself and my friends. What kind of society do you want to live in if, that, if you think that's okay? I know you're just saying you're following the rules, but at the end of the day, if the rules hurt peaceful people, they're not good rules. Yeah, we have different opinions on things, so that's going to happen in our society. Right, right. I would just hope that, you know, you would respect people that are peaceful and not initiate force or advocate its use of force, such as calling men with guns to come here and, and bring up issues of court, you know, which is a system that more often than not sides with those, sides with its own actors, you know, where it, it purports to be the victim and when it's not even involved. I mean, someone here today handed out a piece of paper to other individuals who willingly took it. There was no victim. There's no reason to threaten the use of force on that person. Okay, thanks. Well, have a good day. For our discussion panel tonight, we have Allie Havens with special guest Kate Egger. Allie. Thanks, Heike. So I'm here with the beautiful Kate Ager. And uh, just to talk about the activism we just saw the video of, uh, Kate, you were there. And I just thought it was funny how the you know, efforts of the teachers and the uh, school officials there, is, you know, you, you heard the students saying, you know, what's cop block? And, you know, I heard someone tell someone to act as a free individual, and they said, I will. And, you know, what, what do you think, you know, what is your background in Keene? Like, how long have you been in Keene? And I've lived in Keene my whole life, and I've gone to the public school systems, and they tend to try to censor information and ideas a lot. And how is that usually, I mean, do you think that that's, do you think they're effective at that, or do you think, I get the feeling that kids sort of, um, or, you know, students in schools a lot of times when they see, you know, teacher trying to shut someone up, they're like, well, what were they saying? They want to know. Yeah, I think that it makes people more curious, and no matter how hard they try, they are not going to stop the spread of ideas. Why do you think they want to? Like, what, what are they so afraid of? I think that public officials are trying to suppress ideas that they find objectionable by trying to censor what kids are exposed to. Right. That's that's why you heard them in the video saying that they could turn, uh, they could have the content approved by the school. Do you think that, you know, the school would approve certain content over others? I do. I don't think that they would approve anything that they don't agree with or anything that is contrary to the public school system. Right. So, like, if the military recruiters wanted to come to school and pass out some military recruitment flyers, then what, you know, they might think that that was okay, but if you pass out some who owns you flyers, then they might not be okay with that. Although they, I, what, did anyone even, uh, did, did they, was there an effort to ask permission or was there any kind of um, information on whether or not that would have been approved content? I doubt that that would have been approved content, but nobody tried to ask permission. It's a public school which people are forced to pay for and they have every right to be there and to try to share information with people who are voluntarily accepting it. Right, and not only is the public forced to pay for it, but you know, you were forced to be there. It was compulsory education, so you know, in my, in my views, I don't, if you're gonna have compulsory education, then you should allow you know, all kinds of content. Yeah, I think that when people are presented with new ideas, critical thinking is very important so that you can come to a well-justified conclusion. But instead of encouraging kids to think critically, um, public schools just try to censor what they are, like, they censor what people are presented with. Right. And 
Well, is this your first experience with like a school trying to censor information? Um, no, actually last year when I was a student at Keene High School, I tried to pass out some flyers one afternoon, free Keene flyers, and I was told by an administrator that I couldn't pass them out on the property because I hadn't gotten them in approved and I was threatened with suspension if I continued passing them out. Mm, just terrible. Back to you, Heike. Thanks, Allie and Kate. We on Free Keen TV have covered the camera ban that has, was put into effect first here with the Keene courts and then statewide. The Supreme Court of New Hampshire has recently taken up the issue and have held a public hearing this past Friday. The hearing was mostly boring compared to the events that took place in the lobby outside. Take a look. The one thing that I, I'm surprised that people in government haven't figured out yet in dealing with people of libertarian flair is that if you just ignore them, they push them away. And like, people have cameras and no one's going to hurt them. Like, oh, no. Article 22 is pretty clear, but who cares about all that, right? You guys don't care. It's not like you swore an oath to it. Yeah. So here we are at the uh, Supreme Court. I've yes. never been here before, and uh, we're going to, as uh, members of the media, be documenting our visit here to the uh, courthouse. This is uh, oh, pretty exciting. How are you? Looks like a very secure, uh, uh, yeah, right here. unlike Superior Court, where you can't get past security with it. Apparently, apparently, I'm uh, guilty for uh, doing any sort of crime. Yeah. Do I have to come back early? What's going on? Here? I can't bring this in. It's a wild Because I'm a criminal, apparently. Nope. Yeah, before I go to take my property, before I do an act to harm anybody, you know, that's stealing my property. I don't know how else you look at it. I don't know why it's an issue. It's because it's, it's one of the rules of our issue. But if it's security theater, you should follow it. That's then you should bring that up to the proper channels. <laughs> but you're the one enforcing it. I don't care what's on a piece of paper. I, I, I'm talking to you right now as the individual telling me that I can't have this. I'm not talking about loads on a piece of paper. What's you want to take my belt because I can do something? Or you want me to put a big, like, thing is, I don't, make, I don't make the rules. Boxing gloves on so I can't hit anybody or something? I don't make the rules. You're an enforcer. Yeah, but you, you, you get these rules of legitimacy because you abide by them. You don't question them. You don't think for yourself in this regard, at least. Peaceful people can have reasonable disagreements. And the thing is, if I'm peaceful, even if we disagree, you shouldn't have the right to take my property. Don't you agree? I'm not I'm just asking you to leave it outside. I, I believe can I walk through with this then? Can you walk into the courtroom? Yes. No. Why? Because it's on our list of what we can't. And what would you do if I walked into the court with this? You'd ask me on your list. And if you'd ask me, but then what? What if I said no thank you? I appreciate it, but no thanks. You want to take up this? I mean, it's just. You know, it's a tiny little change. It's, it's not just a commercial because if it starts with this, where does it stop? Yeah. It's, it, it, well, What's your name, sir? I don't know what the English is going to do. I really don't. But the fact well, let's have a commonsensical discussion. I'm not hurting anybody. Why are you going to take my property? Would you like to do that? I have the right to defend myself. I own myself. And if I'm not hurting anybody, why do you have the right to take my property? I'm not arguing. You're just saying that my job, I have to go with the rules of the administrator. He doesn't want to lose his job. They tell me what to do, and I have to enforce it. I'm not saying that this is a If I went to your home or your place of business, I won't be allowed to do it. This is a place of all of our businesses. What I'm getting at is I don't set the rules. I really, nothing I can do about it. I'm Laura Kiernan, I'm the communications oh. officer for the court system. Let me say first, there's no photographs in the lobby of the courthouse, so we need to stop taking pictures why in the would, lobby of the courthouse. There's a court order to that effect. I can give you a copy, but I'm telling you, if you violate the order, you're going to have to step outside. I'm going to see a copy of that. Yes, you can. That'll be great. Actually, we we yeah. try to figure out. So why there's no press. Hold on a second. So Hold we have to listen to you, but you want to have a conversation with us? That's not too respectful. Okay, guys. Listen up. We're individuals. Yes. Okay. Why well, would there be something like that? I mean, isn't it supposed to be freedom of the press? You guys are really going to crack down on press freedom on this day? Okay, guys. Here's the good deal. And this is what goes. You guys can definitely come in. One person with Doesn't sound like a good deal. I good. think the plan is a lot of people with video cameras. Indeed. I mean, we work together now. Let's do it. Okay? One person with. Guys, I'm telling you right now, 
we're going to step outside and have the conversation, or you're all going to be removed. You're violating a court order. Let's go. Come on, Jason. Work with Let's me. See I, the, don't, see I don't react to threats. He gave us I don't react. Well, I don't, I don't like being threatened. Right. 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 That we could report in here. We're getting some conflicting information. Can we see that court order, please? All right. Let's see that. We also see the Constitution as well, Article 22, which says, uh, what's that say, Brad, Article 22? Isn't it like the right to press should not be infringed? It's uh, inviolably preserved. Inviolably yes. preserved, right. Okay. If you're not going to abide by the court order, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Can I see that court order? Oh, well, we're, we're we're like, we're so we just have to take well, We would like to see the law. What you're saying. Well, yeah, exactly. Public officials. Well, what part of your job is secret? Are we going to this courtroom or? Sir? That's what I said. Now with the cameras. You gotta turn the cameras off? Well, it's a hearing about cameras. There's I think a lot of people feel important. We're not gonna debate it with you. We have a reserved section for anybody who wants to take pictures, okay? If you're gonna take a picture of any kind, you gotta sit in the reserved area. It's a pretty small courtroom. Otherwise, you can sit wherever you want. In this next video, one particular bailiff is clearly upset. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, better control this guy. It's like, I don't know. This is, this is exactly why he's probably This is going to be up. You know, this is government this intimidation. Is this is that guy's like title or whatever. I, don't you think, would you not, if I went up to some random person and acted the way you did to me and to my friend, don't you think people would find issue with that? They would say, well, that was Are we allowed to scream at you, get out of the way? You guys were all talking, I had to raise my voice because she didn't hear me the first two times. No, 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 I actually just asked you to whisper in her ear if you wanted. Right, right. And that's why you're staring at people now. All I said is we need to be kind to each other. You gotta be a YouTube star. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Yeah, we're not gonna hurt you. Man. Yeah. We're, we're You're gonna be a YouTube star. We do this for you and your kids and your family as well, man. If, if people with badges get away with stuff. We now turn to Allie Havens and Kate Ager. So, <laughs> that was pretty crazy. Um, <laughs> how did that feel, Kate, to be screamed at like that? Well, it was startling because I had not interacted with him at all before that. I did see that he was very hostile from the moment we walked in. Someone tried to shake his hand and he didn't say anything and he just ignored him. And when he yelled at me, I did feel a little bit frustrated, but I didn't want to stoop to his level because I'm not an angry person, so I wasn't going to react in that way. But Well, your, your face... Well, I remember seeing that video the first time and just your face after you did it, I was like, Kate, no, because, you know, that was so out of line of him to scream it. And, you know, you of all people, like, why would he scream at you? Like, you weren't even, you were just standing there. Other people were singing. He says something to you and you looked back and then he started yelling. And it just, you know, you could tell that there was tension mounting, but uh, between him and, you know, feeling a loss of control. But... I don't think his Jedi mind tricks are working. Yeah, he came up behind me and he's like, time to go. And I turned around and I asked him, like, why can't you just walk around me or ask me politely to move? And that's when he screamed at me. So later on in the video, when he said that he was just trying to make sure I heard him, that was not accurate because I was in the middle of responding to him mm -hmm. when he yelled. Do you think he felt the need to provide an excuse for why he's acting that way because there are all these cameras on him when he did it? Or Yeah, I think he was trying to justify it because Pete called him out, and it doesn't justify it, but... Yeah, well, you know, man, I'm sorry that you had to, like, go through that, but, it, you know, at least the, you know, having video like this shows that they really just want to, you know, boss people around, even if it means screaming at someone who doesn't deserve it. Back to you, Heike. Thank you for watching Free Keen TV. Next week's episode will be pre-recorded as the studio will be closed. Stay tuned for some new changes on the way with the coming New Year's. As always, please send any emails to tv at freekeen.com. I'm Heike Corser saying happy holidays, Keen. <laughs>